Hi class. In this video, I'll briefly be going over the outline that is due in this course. I want you to get an idea of the format that I expect you to use and just get an idea of what I'm looking for, things that you must include. Now, this is actually one of my favorite assignments because it's a very important one. I know at times we think outlines may be a bit tedious, but they really allow us to brainstorm and kind of list in our head the main points that we want to cover. Um, it really allows us to lay out our information in a logical order and to get a clear idea of what the purpose for the research is. What is the reason that we're putting together this outline? What is the purpose of this information that you are presenting um, to me and the class when you do your video presentation? So first off, make sure to include a thesis statement. A thesis statement just provides a clear purpose of what your outline is covering. It also gives the reader a heads up on um, what you're covering and the topic uh, that you're covering. Now, really quick, on the screen, you see that you know there is a thesis statement included here. There's also a um, in-text citation. In-text citations are a must in outlines. Um, I really encourage them in the discussion board assignments as well, but they are a must in the outline, in the papers that are assigned. I need to know what sources were used for the information that you're presenting in your outline. So make sure that you have your in-text citation and make sure it follows an APA format. Um, there's a great website that I love to use, which is the Purdue Online Writing Lab. They have a whole section on the APA format and it gives you a quick rundown on in-text citations um, and the format for them. Now, please make sure to include the title on the top and as I scroll further down, I just want you to get an idea of the level of detail. You should have subheadings under each subheading, the details that relate to the subheading that you um, have listed. Now, I'm going to scroll down really quick. I want to touch on the reference list. All right, I jumped too far. Now, for the reference list, it also needs to follow an APA format. You do need to have at least five references. Um, and it should be on a separate page. So make sure to insert a page break or just keep pressing enter until you get to the next page. And that's where you will um, include your references. That really covers it. Um, you know, the main sections, again, you will know what you want your subheadings to be. What are the main points that you're covering? Make sure to include a conclusion. Um, I always suggest here, this one is blank. I suggest for you to kind of recap what you're covering in your um, outline, in your conclusion section. Um, and that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to give you a quick um, run down on what I expect in your outline. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out to me. And I look forward to reviewing your outlines. Take care. Bye.